I'm here with uh, Dylan Staszewski from the uh, Alfred University Women's Swimming and Diving Team, uh, who is the Empire 8 Featured Athlete of the Month for December. You know, Dylan, first things first, before we get to these questions, did I say your last name right? Staniszewski? Yes. You can say Staniszewski or Staniszewski. Okay, because everyone's saying it two different ways. <laughs> yeah. Just want to make sure. All right, well, you know, first question that's here is, you know, why did you choose to attend after university? Um, I actually came here for the art school. I wasn't planning on swimming in college, so I really liked how the program here is really flexible. You can take um, a variety of classes in a variety of different medium while also taking academic classes because it's also a liberal arts school. All right, um, what has been the greatest part of your experience as a collegiate athlete? Um, being a collegiate athlete is really different for me because I come from an area where we swim mostly club and high school really isn't a big part of that and a lot of the kids up here come from high school teams. So one of the great things is about being sort of a family. So last year at States, um, all our alumni showed up with these huge blow up heads of our seniors and we didn't know really who they were and like we didn't know they were coming so we all looked up there and we're like these crazy people in the stands with these giant heads and then we realized like those were our crazy people and those were our seniors heads on that they were carrying and it was just it was really great and everyone was pumped up for the rest of the meet. Uh, you know who has been the uh, most influential person to you during your athletic career? Um, during my athletic career that would probably be my club coach in high school. Um, I actually quit for two years before I came to college and Quitting was probably one of like the hardest things I've done as an athlete and the last thing he said to me was, you could definitely come back and swim college or swim like a master's program. You like you could come back to the sport, you're that type of athlete. And that was something that was really inspiring to me. And he also instilled in me to have pride in everything that you do, to take personal responsibility and daily effort for everything you do, like as an athlete and as a person. All right, Dylan, in five years, where do you see yourself? Um, in five years, I think I would be graduated from grad school. I'd like to go probably for photography because I'm really interested in photography and digital media. And I'd like to be working um, either in a gallery setting or in advertising. As a collegiate athlete competing in the Empire 8 Conference, what's your most favorite aspect of playing in the Empire 8? Um, my favorite aspect of playing and competing in the Empire 8 is that I'm still able to compete while paying significant amount of attention to my academics because being an art major it takes a lot of time in the studio but being an athlete it takes a lot of time in the pool and I like that I'm able to balance my time without like the constant stress of like a scholarship or like having to be there like I like being able to like take a personal day and just like be able to like relax and manage my time. In your spare time you know what do you do for fun? Um, I read a lot, um, I play with my dog, um, and I take a lot of photos. Bucket list, top three things, go. Oh gosh, my bucket list. I actually like don't have like a concise bucket list, but I definitely want to travel to Iceland. Um, I'd like to learn Arabic, and I want to be exhibited in a museum, somewhere where people would like remember seeing my work. All right, uh... What is something that most people don't know about you? Most people don't know about me. I'm afraid of fish. I'm a swimmer and I'm afraid of fish. How does that work? I, it doesn't really, especially when you're doing like open water swimming and there's like fish and seaweed, I just kind of like freak out. <laughs> but I'm usually in a pool where it's nice, I can see the bottom, like it's just tile, there's no fish. So a horrible prank for your teammates to pull on you is to put fish in the pool? Yeah, that would be pretty terrible. We go to Florida every year and like they like to like swim under the water and like touch my feet and I just like freak out and like get out and I'm like, no. <laughs> Alright, uh, if you had to invite certain people to a party, uh, invite four people, famous, living or dead, to that party. Uh, four people. Um, Helena Bohem Carter, I think she's really interesting. George Orwell, uh, Lewis Carroll, and Tim Burton. All right, now, rapid fire. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> no, no retake, no editing. Okay. All right. Favorite food? Sushi. Favorite band musician? Oh gosh, uh, Miranda Lambert. Favorite TV show? <laughs> Xeno, Warrior Princess. Favorite movie? Uh, Armageddon. <laughs> Favorite book? Uh, 1984. Favorite place to visit? West Virginia. Can't live without? Uh, sleep. <laughs> Pet peeve? Uh, on the radio dial, when like the radio is on like odd numbers, I just can't deal with it. 
celebrity dream date? Angelina Jolie. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the Empire 8 Featured Athlete of the Week for December. Dylan, Stan is Thank you. I said both of <laughs>